Hey everybody, so today we're going to be going over the Nintendo Switch collection here that we've accumulated over the time. Everything from collector's editions and the regular. As you can see, we have a bunch here. Now, there's around 450 physical titles that we've accumulated over time. And we have some of the bigger stuff right here, kind of like the Ring Fit, which is a great game if you're into that kind of stuff. And a couple more collector's editions. Some of these are from Play Asia, limited run games, super rare games, and uh, other limited companies that are out there. There's so many now. And then we have a couple of controllers up here. And this one here is the um, the Torment Collector's Edition. Now these are some of my favorite right here. And if you don't have a bag, this one here is pretty awesome. This is probably one of the best fighting joysticks you can get for the Switch. And the favorite from my collection would be this one, the Bayonetta Climax Edition. This is the one from Japan. I know there's two versions, one from the UK and one from Japan. It comes with both the physical version of Bayonetta 1 and 2 in a single pack. Now I'm going to go over a couple things that we picked up for January. This is anything from January 1st until the end of January. I don't think we're going to get any more pickups after this, but I'm going to go over them one by one. These here that are inside protective cases, those are all the releases from Super Rare Games. I think it's 1 through 21 or 22, I could be wrong. I think I recently just got another one in. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what I picked up for this one. Alright, so here's a couple of games I picked up. This one here is Black Sad. I think I got this from Amazon. This is a uh, limited edition release. has a pretty cool little cover on it. It's nothing fancy. Alright, next we have a release from one print games this here is another company just like limited run games and super rare games and strictly limited right now this is their first release that they have put out it's called Kiro Blaster and it does come with a art book next here we got Ultra Core this one here was released by strictly limited I don't remember exactly the amount of copies they got for this one but I think they still have some on their website, but I could be wrong. The next pickup I have here is Smoke and Sacrifice. This one here was released by Super Rare Games. I think it was the game for January, which is pretty awesome. I haven't been disappointed by the releases yet. They always come with stickers and a pack of cards. And this one here, was a limited release by Play Asia. I think this one has a 1500 release. It looks pretty cool. And I think the only difference is that they have different covers. There's a company called VGNY, I think it's called Video Games New York. They also released this title with a certain amount of limited releases and I think it just has like a different cover on it. But I got the one from PlayAsia. Just Dance 2020. 
not really a big fan of this game, but it was cheap. Next, we have Ice Age. I think your local Walmart might have this for around $10, if I'm not mistaken. Which is actually not a bad deal. I think it's kind of like a Minecraft game. Kind of build, survive kind of thing. Next is probably one of my favorites, which is Hameli Mak, The River City. And this is another game that was released by Limited Run. This one here is the Blazing Chrome. A friend of mine said it was kind of like Contra, but I could be wrong. It actually does look pretty cool. Next, we have the Resident Evil Triple Pack. Now this one comes with Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, but the only problem is that this one actually only comes with only Resident Evil 4 on the cartridge, 5 and 6 are downloadable, which is a big no-no if you're a collector. I wish they had them on a single cartridge. I'm pretty sure everybody's played 4. Um, I played 5 on the Xbox 360, I think it was, and I wasn't a big fan of the 6. I just couldn't play it. I just didn't like it. Next, we have Mutant Road to Eden, I think it says. This one looks pretty cool. I think this was released on PC back then, and I heard really good things about it. But I don't really think I'm gonna play it, though. Next, we have the Darksiders. I do have Darksiders number one, but I wasn't able to finish it, so I'm not gonna start on this one until I'm done with the first one. And next, we have Trine 4. I've played the first one on PC, and that was actually really cool. I liked it a lot. I haven't finished the second or the third, so before I start on the fourth, I'm gonna try and get the Trine 1 through 3 pack before I get started on this one. Next here we have Broken Sword 5. I don't know if this means there's been 5 Broken Sword games, because I've never heard of this game. I have no idea if I have to play the other ones first before I play this, but if not, I'll probably give it a go. And here's another one called A Hat in Time. I've heard great things about this game. I haven't played it yet. I may actually do videos of this next, so keep an eye out for that. And this here is one of my favorites. Dead by Daylight. I actually do love this game. I've played it on the PS4 and I played it for a good while but there was always issues with uh, finding a group to play with. So that's one of the things I didn't like about it. But I picked it up for the Switch and it's actually really fun. Next we have Assassin's Creed, the Rebel Collection. I actually have the one before this, I think it was 1 and 2 was released for the Nintendo Switch. That one was pretty cool. I actually like that one. And Black Flag is actually my favorite Assassin's Creed, so I would definitely be playing this again. And here we got the Plane, Escape, Torment, and Icewind. I got this from the Collector's Edition. I forgot what company it was from. I think it was called Skybound or something like that. They had a limited print run of these, but they actually sent the game separately instead of all in one inside the box. And I think it comes with like a little rubber skull and like some dice and some other little things. You can see it in the beginning of the video. It's a big, gigantic box. And this one here was released by Limited Run Games, uh, Battle Princess Madden. Um, I know they released it before on Play Asia, but I heard they made some changes to this edition here. I do have both. Now we have here Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. It was just a filler, something to have on the collection. And we have the greatest Final Fantasy X and X2, the HD remaster. I played it on the uh, PS2, I think it was, and it was actually one of my favorites. 
next is another limited run release. This here is Wonder Song. I don't know much about it, but I heard it was really good. I forgot what release this was, but I think this was way back. Limited run takes forever to ship the game though. Unlike super rare games, I like them. They usually send you the game like a week after you pay for it. This here is the Raven Remastered. This is also a adventure puzzle game. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you're like some sort of investigator or something. And next, I picked up Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, so next we have Grip. I heard it was actually a fun racing game. And GameStop had a good deal on it, so I picked it up. V Rally 4. I'm a big fan of rally games. I actually can't wait to play this one. And I might do a video on this. Now, this next game here, I've been wanting to play for a very long time. And this is Super Robot Wars T. I heard it had similar gameplay to games like Fire Emblem and I think Tank Wars, if I'm not mistaken, on the Game Boy Advance. So this is pretty cool. I actually can't wait to play this and I haven't opened it yet, but I will soon. And then next is Kill La Kill. I have no idea what this is. Never heard of it, but it had a really cool cover. And it looked really interesting. So I'll probably give that a go. And next, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but I don't know if it's Disgaea or Disgaea. But it kind of reminds me of the Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm a huge fan of it since I played the PS2 version of the 4th or the 3rd, I don't remember which one it was. But I didn't get that far, I remember I put about 20 hours into it and I never finished it. These games are so long, so I could never actually wait until the end and I usually end up quitting halfway. And last but not least, Sparklight. I don't know anything about this but my friend said it was good, so I decided to pick it up. All right guys, so that's the last game right there. That was basically the pickups we had for January. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do more videos like this and show some unboxings. I got this idea from my friend Alice and I'll be putting a link down at the description of her channel so you can go check it out and subscribe. She's an amazing collector, she's very friendly, she's very kind and she has an amazing collection of games. So you should definitely go check her out. And I wanna thank all of my subscribers for um, checking out my videos, and even those who are not subscribed for coming here to watch my videos. Very thankful for all of you guys and helping me uh, get better at doing this. And I hope to show more things in the future and uh, see you guys next time.